Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes. I run a company called Go Fly Fishing UK. As you can see, I'm stood next to the beautiful River Wharf at Burnsell, near the Red Lion Hotel. I do a lot of work uh, as a full-time fly fishing guide and instructor uh, on this particular river. And we have some super fishing all around the dales in this area. As you can see, the River Wharf is probably the ideal fly fishing river. Uh, holds both trout and excellent grayling and I think there's no finer place to fish. One of the great things about fishing on the River Wharf up here is that the character of the river lends itself to all sorts, in fact all of the different fly fishing methods and techniques we use. One of the more specialised techniques we use in the Yorkshire Dales are fishing traditional spider patterns and these flies have been used on the River Wharf and other rivers uh, in this area for somewhere in the region of 150 years. They're great fish takers and uh, these methods are now being found again by a lot of anglers that have forgotten the, uh, the old techniques but um, certainly you need some spiders in your box. I tie my, all my own flies including the spiders uh, and these are some of the uh, more popular flies that we use. Very simple flies, normally just two or three materials but they work. These are three of the famous Yorkshire spider flies. The top one is the uh, uh, water hen blow which is probably one of the big three spiders. The second one down is the partridge and orange, again one of the better known Yorkshire spider flies and the one at the bottom is Stuart's uh, black spider which is also a great fly. Don't underestimate spiders, they'll catch fish anywhere, both in this country and abroad. They're absolutely great flies. The traditional way of fishing spiders was by casting a short line, very short line upstream, lifting the rod, keeping up with a line off back on the water no more than three or four yards of fly line at the most, fishing quickly and covering a lot of water. You can also fish them straight across the river or down and across. Uh, all these methods produce fish. Uh, I'm an obviously endorsed fly fishing guide and qualified fly fishing instructor and we use exclusively Orvis gear. They do a great range of rods from the lower price range right up to the top end. Uh, good gear, great guarantees and uh, thoroughly recommend it. I'm now fishing on the River Wharf, as you can see actually we've got quite a lot of water today. The river came up last night, it's quite a, a tea stain in it, uh, but the river is going down. I'm just going to fish this little bit down here and just fish down and across with a couple of flies just to see if we can pull a fish in this slack of water here. One of the techniques you must observe when casting down across is to keep that rod reasonably high and that will give a fish that may take the fly the opportunity to take a little bit of slack line. Track round with the rod, leaving the rod high. And we have a couple of casts in one place, then move down a couple of paces, cover the next, the next piece of water and work our way down the pools. This is very much prospecting fishing. You're searching out odd fish uh, particularly in a river like this that, as I say, has been well up today and probably still a little bit high for fishing at the moment. Uh, really, experience has no bearing. Anyone can learn to fly fish and in most cases they will catch a fish uh, on the first attempt. That's not guaranteed, of course, to get a fish, but very often they do and in most cases, at the very least, they'll frighten a fish or two. A day's fly fishing makes a great birthday, Christmas or retirement present and uh, makes the ideal opportunity for a short break at the Red Lion together with your loved one and uh, make a full weekend of it and have a great time.